Farmers. I am Peter Gay Watson, the livestock officer for the parish of St. Thomas, working with the Rural Agricultural Development Authority. There are 12 other officers in the other parishes of Jamaica. Today, I will be introducing to you the Goat Record Keeping Book, a guide for farmers. To assist the farmers, RADA has developed the Record Keeping Book, which captures information on your dough, your kids, your service book, the health status of your animals, as well as your sales and purchases. So why should we keep records? We should keep records because it allows us to track the performance of our animals, their health status, as well as aid us in making decisions on our farms. See is inside this book. Let us go through. The first page of the book captures your information, the farm information. Operating a farm, you must have a name of your business. So this book captures your name, the farm names, your ID number, the address of your farm, as well as the GPS location of your farm. The book also contains a conversion table that helps you as farmers when you are medicating your animal. We have some basic calculations that will assist you, the farmer, in selecting the animals on your farm. Calculations include conception rate. This means how many does got pregnant or conceived after mating. The next page consists of the doe information. And uh, within the doe information, we collect information such as the date that the doe was bred, the date that the doe gave birth, or the kidding date, as well as the kidding type. The kidding type refers to if the kid was born as a single, twin, or a triplet. And before you can do any form of record keeping, you have to have an effective form of identification of your animals. So for effective record keeping, we must have a form of identification. One of the simplest form of identification used in goat rearing is that of tagging. Now to effectively tag your animal, all you need is an ear tag and then ear tag applicator. So after tagging your animal, you will then record the information in your record book. So the next information that this book captures is the kid information. And here we have a sheet showing the information that you'll collect. First, you identify the birth date, that's the day the kid was born. The dam ID, which is the mother's identification number. The sire ID, which is the identification number of the sire. However, if you had artificial insemination, you would have noted that the kid is from AI and you use the batch code of the semen. You also capture the sex of the kid, whether it is a male or a female, as well as the birth weight. 
Now, after the kid is growing, once it reaches weaning stage, you also capture the weight of that animal as well as a final weight. And to continue record keeping of this animal, naturally, you would give that kid an identification number.